Lord said you go and I go with you. You preach the gospel and I preach. Lord, if I go, won't you tell me what to say? Cause they won't believe on me. They won't believe on me. They won't believe on me. Okay. So I need to set up the quail and rabbit hut basics. Because I plan on taking some of the dirt and putting it around the base of the quail and rabbit hutch. Because uh, there's a lot of major roots in here. So I might have to build up the ground a little bit to keep things from digging in. So, there's that. Absolutely made a mess. These boards are what I'm going to use for the bottom part of Quail Avery and uh, again I found all this stuff thrown away so special things like my uh, my sun chokes and stuff so there's been money the ducks and duck feed and stuff like that getting a tire for this wheelbarrow just doesn't seem like enough priority to me I, gotta, I think I'm going to figure out another way to fix it I got a plan and I think that's the idea isn't it figuring out how to do stuff without money here and I recently had the car wreck in September and you know dad hasn't been able to get out much he already had bad hips and he finally got out to the coffee house bible study for the first time and uh, my ribs and my sternum are healed up enough now that doing this stuff hopefully shouldn't hurt I'll rip my way through it anyway so insurance company dropped me. Uh, I have doctor's appointments. Eventually a doctor said they'll give me a letter to the insurance company saying they tested everything and they couldn't find an answer or whatever it is. But so I'm not driving. That's it. Plain simple. I'm not driving right now. So when you think about all that stuff you're like well how do you do stuff? How do you get stuff done? Well, it's difficult. <laughs> you gotta find a way, right? And that's pretty much it. Sometimes you just gotta find a way. I am sinking into the mold hole.
just trying to kill or take care of the moles is a, is a hassle. I don't like bothering people or asking people for anything, and that's that's another problem I have. That pride thing. It's not that I'm overwhelmed with pride. It's just that for one, I've learned to humble myself enough to, to ask for help and do some things. It's still there, no matter how much you cast it away. If you're someone who has had a lot of pride, it always keeps coming back. It's hard to get rid of. It. Hard to get rid of it at least completely. They're my outside toilet. <laughs> they should make a compost toilet out of it. Maybe. I thought that. I got a fair bit of cardboard over here. I was going to use that to put it in places to keep the grass from growing. But I've done that. I just didn't do as much as I wanted to. I don't know if leaving this camera on for this is worth it. I just gotta move things around and assess what I'm gonna do. Gotta just kinda of figure out a, a boxed out area where I wanna put these three boards for the Avery in and, and then another set for the the hutch, the, the shed hutch deal take a lot of video of the memory and stuff if I keep it going. I plugged it in so the battery would be good. This is my phone, by the way. Just don't know how interesting it really is. There may be some interesting something to this. I can't imagine there being a lot. But, what do I know? Somebody, maybe they're interested in seeing how much I suffer my thought process and how I'm going to do all this. But you know, good. You all, you all gotta, you, you, everybody has to, you got to be able to look at what you're in and come up with stuff. Use that, I did a paper in college on that imagination development. It was, um, I feel that it's one of the first gifts God gives us with the babies that do even REM in their sleep. Where'd that come from? <sighs> our society doles out and dumbs down our imagination, but I think we're all born with it. And it does function in different ways for certain people. You got your you've got your engineer types, that's artistic, you get your performance types, you get your your paint early types and stuff like that so it comes in different forms but imagination is in all of us use it okay here's my idea so far I'm building these around for the Avery section Ooh, zooming out that's good um, and this will be the closed off section for the rabbits like a shedish type area. Here's my door for it. Uh, I have these shelves. I'll put the rabbit cages on. And then I have this in here just for shed or shelves. This is tree. It's in my way. Yes, I have to maybe knock off a couple of limbs. But um, I'm going to have this door going in right here. And then from inside, there'll be another door right here going into the Avery. That way the Avery from the outside is completely shut off. Hopefully protecting it a tad bit better. So anyway, there you go. Okay, well, I don't know how well that angle is. There you go, I lost my little hatchet. There it is. Not the best hatchet in the world. But I think it'll do the trick. Blades on it, not the sharpest right now either. But what I'm doing, I think it'll be all right. You can see me all the way up here.
a roofer for a while too, but then when you land hardwood floors. So I was actually pretty good at swinging a hammer, hatchet, and whatnot, but uh, really hard with the hands I got. Just saying. cutting down this big old beast. So, it is what it is. Like I just say, it is what it is. Like the rest of the pile as I tear up everything in the process of dragging it through here. Starting to get that bump in there. See. Anyway, whatever. Even my dolly had a flat tire. Man, that's just ain't bad. <laughs> I never get anything easy. I do everything the hard way. Always. Always, always, always the hard way. Now I just turned all that on, realizing I'm gonna have to go get some tools and I'm losing sunlight. Okay, I got a few tools. Probably didn't get all the tools I needed, but yeah, I do everything the hard way. <laughs> if I, if I, sh if I followed you, if you had a blah blah blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if I had you follow me around, and my tool shed or the house and whatnot, you'd see how much harder I make everything. <laughs> all right, I don't know if I can show you all these pieces, but. Hey, see, you got this piece going across. I got that board back there. Um, these boards that were over here. These benches. Everything. Something somebody threw away. Trash. Things that I've used to be able to put this together. And so far, so far, including this door, so far, everything is matching up nicely. Why? Why is that? Is it really my imagination or it's enough that it causes me to think how is it that I could say God's not in this and if God's really wanting me to do all this stuff give me what I need when I need it and how all that I have a plan a crazy plan or not, I don't know. I just, am I nuts? Is God showing me things? Or it's just what's happening because it's happening. You decide because I haven't. <laughs> I just keep going along with it. Anyway, I'm going to get back to this. I'm um, losing my daylight. You can see the sun setting over there. Maybe you really can't see. But, uh, Okay, so <laughs> I was bragging about having the right lumber and then come to the conclusion that oh I I need a couple of different two by fours that were longer than what I had and suddenly it dawned on me there was a couple back there. <laughs> so when I doubted still worked out. Here we are. I have all the pieces. Got everything put into place, cutting stuff to length. It takes me a little longer because I also have to pull the nails and screws out of some of these boards. So that's fun. Um, but I'm losing light, so I thought I would film a little bit more and then work a little bit more. I don't know. I've been known to uh, <laughs> work at nighttime out here. I have these little flashlights that I've made a thing that fits on my head and they beam out. 
and stuff. But I actually got electricity right here. I I could probably hook up a, a light if I need to, but we'll see how far I go. I I got a vision here. I want to at least get all these pieces ready to start screwing together at least. I would feel better at that point. So even if I just got the the base part screwed it together i feel good i don't know yeah i'm running out of light so we'll see where i end up okay i seriously doubt you can see me but i wanted to uh show you that i do work out here at night <laughs> just so you believe me that's what i'm doing i got this light in the greenhouse that always kind of brightens things up a little bit we'll see how long i go depends on how deep i get into it mentally but I've got all the boards figured out I just gotta clean out all the nails and I think it's pretty well ready to just put the pieces together I don't know what time it is I don't really want to know either so. <laughs> I've gotten some of the upward pieces going in uh, I've got the frame on the ground be able to see it better during the day I want to put things up and Try to get cleaned up and uh, see what else <laughs> there is to do before I fall asleep if I can. Um, so, there you go. Anyway, <laughs> can you see me? <laughs> Alright, YouTubers, take care.